Hello YouTubers, it's Champion DJK coming at you again with another Matchbox Monday episode. And as usual, we're going to look at five Matchbox castings from various years, sort of vintage, uh, from about 1970s up to possibly the 1990s, uh, some in between. And uh, yeah, looking at five castings, kind of talk a little bit about them and move on to the next week. So... This first one that you're looking at here is number 36. This is a Matchbox Superfast. This one dates from 1971 to 1972 in this variation. Quick look around the box. This is the Draguar, so it's kind of like a Jaguar casting, but obviously a bit of fantasy thrown in there. Uh, and here it is. Very interesting little piece here. We've got that crazy bubble window deal. Metal base, metal body, uh, plastic engine, uh, kind of a cream colored interior. This plastic dome here, super fast wheels. It's got a little bit of suspension to it. It is made in England. Hot Rod Dragar. Kind of a neat but weird kind of thing. Copyright 1970. So this is 1971 and 1972, this variation. There was another variation of it uh, from 72, 74, where it was, uh, I don't think this casting was made ever again. Uh, this is definitely some vintage matchbox here. Uh, it's in 163rd scale. But uh, there it is. That is definitely an interesting one. Definitely a weird one, but uh, I think very, very cool. Very cool, very old school. Um, definitely dig that the old box with it. And uh, it's kind of a neat, neat older casting. So I think that one's cool. That one's definitely in the cool, cool category for me. All right, so there's 36. Uh, next one we got is 37. This is the skip truck quick look around the box uh, this particular variation I believe is from 1980 the casting was used from 1977 to 1981 it had various different uh, variations uh, I believe this is the one from 1980 this one has a metal base metal body uh, plastic plastic thing here which is removable by the way and most of the time when you see these they don't have their bucket uh, so pretty cool it's got a movable part this is in 188 scale uh, made in England um, this is an Atlas so Atlas trucks is a real trucking a real truck manufacturer this is I guess made after an actual truck that was probably pretty huge. It's a three-seater in the front. That's cool. Um, painted enamel red. So, yeah, the casting was out 77 to 81. Various different color combos between uh, the bucket and the uh, actual metal piece here. The actual truck. No suspension or anything. It rolls nice, though. The articulating part works well. Let's quick look at it there. And I think this cab portion of it has been used in something else. I don't, now that I'm looking at it, so I remember this engine kind of combo thing in a different casting. I'm not sure which it was, but uh, yeah, I think I've seen this tooling for the, the truck part before uh, used in a different way than with this. So. Some of you guys that know a lot about match, Matchbox probably know that. And please leave it in, please leave that information, as always, in the comments down below. All right, so there's that one. And then we got the Model A truck, number 38. Uh, this particular variation was either an 84 or 85. The casting was used quite a bit from 82 to 91. We got Pepsi Cola come alive. I had mentioned in a previous video. I am definitely a fan of Pepsi over Coca-Cola. Don't hate, but uh, I like Pepsi. Mountain Dew is way better than Mellow Yellow as well. So if you don't agree with that, you're, you're nuts. All right, so 
there's that. This one's got a plastic base, uh, metal everywhere else. Even these uh, fenders and bits are metal. Uh, of course, this is plastic right here, the chrome bit. Um, this casting was used a lot, 82 to 91. It's in 152 scale. It is a Ford Model A truck. That's yeah, kind of a neat little piece. Don't really, uh, don't really dig the cars from the way old, way back, way back Model A, Model T, Model this, Model that. I'm not really into those way old school early vehicles. I think about the uh, 60s is probably where it starts for me. All right, but that's that one. And then we got this number 38 camper. This is a cool one. This is definitely a cool one. This is actually modeled after a Ford truck. Uh, this was only released, as far as I could tell, one year, 1981, and that was it. And this is it, right here. There might have been a couple variations of it color-wise. Uh, this one's got a green windshield, which is odd a bit. Uh, there's the metal base, made in England. It's in very good condition. The camper top part is plastic, of course. The rest of the truck is metal, and I would say this one is definitely in the cool category for me, too. I really like this one. This actually is probably going to be my favorite in the video. Actually, for sure, this one is my favorite in the video. This is in 164 scale, according to uh, BAMCA.org, where I get all the information for these videos from. And it's really cool. What does that license plate say? can't really quite read it it's a COU one thirteen anyway oh yeah that might be easier right there COU 113 definitely a cool piece it's a shame I don't think they put this out any other times besides this at least not in this format with all metal and this plastic back and I don't know if this is removable it very well actually probably isn't now that I'm looking at it it looks like there is some sort of like rivet thing you can kind of see it right in there so it's probably not removable but a uh, really cool truck I think that's that's an awesome one so out of the stuff that we've been looking at I think that is definitely near the top of, of coolness all right then last up the last cast we're gonna look at is number 39 and this is a matchbox rollomatic rollomatics are definitely interesting um, Mag wheels, racing suspension, super fast, automatic features. This looks like some stuff goes up and down there. It looks like the canopy opens. It is called the Clipper. Uh, this is released from 73 to 78. I don't think there's been any variations of it. It's in 1 to 59 scale. I don't think it's a model after a real car at all or even like a concept car and it is wild looking wow actually now that i look at it, i know there's variations i think there's variation of the headlight colors these ones are green or the base color it's like green machine green made in england rollmatic um so let's check it out these moving features okay so first of all that opens up nice easy way to get in the car pop her down and then I think as it rolls there you go those move up and down so a lot of times these roller matics you'll find them in played with condition and they don't work because that little peg on the wheel is broken uh, and that peg is actually pretty fragile so these probably broke very easily when being played with. This one's in obviously pretty much immaculate condition here. It's it's very, very nicely well kept. And uh, it's a pretty, I guess, neat piece. Definitely a piece of Matchbox history. So that is pretty cool. So that's going to be it for this video, guys, though. Thank you very much for watching uh, this other episode. I think this is episode 11. And we saw some pretty cool pieces in this one. This Rollomatic is really neat. That Draguar is pretty cool, and let's just take another quick look at it, because I mean, the paint job is nice on this too, this one's ultra red paint, so we also have green machine base, ultra red paint, 
and then that cool uh, camper truck too. So that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Per usual, um, please like, comment, subscribe. If you like these videos, please check out the playlist that they're in. And you can watch all the ones previous to it and all the ones after it. So thank you very much and have a great day.